This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to do one of my favorite types of videos. We are going to look at your work. I'm gonna to get to some mail that has been sent in. But real quick, I have something that I want to talk about that I'm super excited about. So two weeks ago, I was actually in Philadelphia and there was a good reason why I was there. Let me back up a second first. So if you follow these videos, you probably heard me talk about this, but in the last two years, I've been doing a lot of work with Ralph Gibson. Ralph is one of the great photographers of all time. He is one of my heroes and it's been a real honor to get to work with him. A lot of the stuff we've done, I'll give you an example. So last year in October, he got the Leica Hall of Fame award and I actually went to Germany and got to facilitate this conversation after he received the award in front of the audience. And it was a lot of fun, but it's not something that was ever released and put online. So it's not something that I've been able to share with you guys. This last project though, is something that I'm gonna be able to share and I'm super excited about it. It actually ties in nicely with a mail video because a lot of the work that you guys send in are either books or zines and Ralph is known as one of the great photographers in the genre of bookmaking and he's built an entire career over it and I could talk ad nauseum about this. One of the things that I love about it, I mean his whole approach to sequencing a book, how he puts it together and he treats the book as a work of itself. It's not just a collection of photographs ever and so he has a new book that he's working on called Refractions 2 and the printer that he's using is an incredible printer called Brilliant and Brilliant are in Exton, uh, Pennsylvania which is right outside of Philadelphia. So I went up there two weeks ago and we're doing a behind the scenes video and I will share that with you guys. I'm actually editing that this week. I'm super excited. So stay tuned for that. But for now, I think we should look at some of your work. Let's get started. All right, so first up is this little zine, and this comes to us, speaking of Germany, from Guido Wurz. And Guido writes, Dear Ted, snapshotting my world since decades, I started diving into quote-unquote real photography only about three years ago. So still being an intermediate photographer at best, I promote my work with pride nevertheless. As you recommend, never apologize for your work. That's why I send you my first zine, Faces of Places. Never apologize your work. So maybe a coincidence, maybe not. The person who taught me that was Ralph Gibson. When I was studying one-on-one -on -one with him, I had an assignment that I was turning in one day and there was something I really wasn't that proud of and I thought was a little off. And I said, man, I'm really sorry about this image. And he stopped and he said, Ted, let me tell you something, never, ever, ever apologize for a photograph. It's something I remember to this day and it's actually really good advice, so. Printing quality didn't turn out like expected, unfortunately. No apologizing, dude. But hey, not being perfect yet means space for improvement and that's the space of our future. Well put. Thank you for your work on the art of photography. Let's hope to fight the corona crisis successfully so that we can all be able to go out soon and shoot the world we all love to capture with our photography so much. Best regards from Germany, Guido. So Guido, first thing, this is a really nice little zine. You should be very proud of your work and I know I was teasing you about apologizing for it, but I wanna talk a little bit about that because first of all, the print quality on here, I'm sure, I mean, you know, it's always room for improvement. It's really not that bad. I think it looks pretty good. The second thing I wanna say is that, and this goes for anything in photography, the technical stuff is always gonna be secondary to the photograph or the idea. I'm a big firm believer in that. And I think that goes for anything. It's why, you know, people get caught up in cameras and lenses. And to be honest with you, no one's ever going to look at an image in a gallery. Well, never say never, but most people are not gonna look at an image and think, what kind of camera was that shot on? If it's a great image, it's gonna speak for itself. Nice work. Okay, so next up is this book from a fashion photographer by the name of Jonathan Daniel Price. He has a nice little note here and it just says, Ted, thank you for creating so many incredible videos. Hope you enjoy my book. It's been a long time coming. Don't let it rule you. Everything's gonna be alright. 
Jonathan, this is some stellar work. I love your style. I love the color in this book. Everything looks incredible. Most impressive, the typography really brings this together too. This is, this is really nicely done. I know you said it's a long time coming, but I hope you're very proud of this awesome book. All right, another zine here. This comes to us from Troy Holt, who writes, Dear Ted, I've been a big fan for the show ever since I picked up a camera four years ago, and I wanted to show you my gratitude for all of the fantastic videos that you've made by sending you a small gift, my first ever printed work. As the title suggests, this scene is a retrospective of my first two years of living in Glasgow, Scotland. It was such a blast to make, and I think it really hit home, your advice that printing your pictures often is the best way to understand them, and indeed is to a greater extent, I think I understand my new life in Scotland better for making this scene. Very cool. As of this writing, I am now in the early stages of starting my first proper long-term project about a friend who lives up in the Highlands. I'm very excited to start. I have no idea where it will go, but it will be an adventure. Keep up the great work. All the best, Troy Holt. Troy, this is really nicely executed. The only suggestion I would make, you should put your name on the book somewhere, my man. Own up to the work. Be proud. It's really awesome. Probably an oversight, but I just wanted to point that out. Thanks for sending. Some nice work today. I've got some other cool stuff that I want to share with you too, but real quick, I want to stop and give a shout out to our sponsor today, who are the awesome folks over at Squarespace. I am actually redesigning my personal website right now, and I'm going to be using Squarespace. So I've been sharing a lot of images with you guys in these videos. This is something that I want to share more of, be able to put links and things to when I have collections made. Squarespace is an awesome place to do that. It really is the easiest way to build a website. You can build an online portfolio. You can even build an e-commerce store on here. The tools have really gotten good. How easy is Squarespace to use? Well, you're gonna start with one of their award-winning templates. Now, all of these templates are customizable. Your content is separate from the template, so you can change the entire look. If you feel like you need a complete refresh or you're not sure on something, you can get things to look exactly like you want them. What good is a website if nobody's looking at it? Will Squarespace have the right social tools and email integrations in here so you can do your own website promotion as well? My favorite part of Squarespace, well, it's really intuitive. So if you can drag and drop a folder of images, you can build a photo gallery. It's that easy. You can easily go into the settings to customize everything to your liking, hook it up to your own domain. In fact, they sell those too, and you are in business. So head over to Squarespace using the link below this video, and you can try it out for absolutely free. And when you do decide that Squarespace is right for you, I can save you an additional 10% on your first order by using offer code AOP. So once again, offer code AOP. And I want to give a special shout out and thanks to the awesome folks at Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Okay, this is a calendar, and I'm gonna go ahead and confess early since some of you are gonna notice this. I'm obviously a little behind on some of my mail. We're doing a really good job of catching up. I am actually almost caught up, but this is a calendar from 2021, which means it was probably sent to me at the end of 2020. So I apologize for that. This comes to us from Neil, who writes an incredibly long note to me. Some color for the new studio, Neil. Neil, I apologize for not getting to this sooner. This is some really nice stuff in here. I really love this whole macro thing that kind of starts bordering into the abstract. Really nicely done. Okay, next up is a zine called 11,000 Steps. And this comes to us from Keith, who's actually sent me work before. And he writes in here, Hi, Ted, I sent you my first zine, Black and White Memories, at the beginning of the year, and you kindly featured it on your YouTube channel in the spring. Sadly, during the summer, my dad was diagnosed with prostate cancer. And as you can imagine, this had an enormous impact on our family. 11,000 men a year are diagnosed with prostate cancer in the UK. In certain cases in the news is positive, but sadly in situations like my dad, cancer has progressed to his bones, so it's no longer curable. Prostate Cancer UK has been very supportive and informative through this period, and I wanted to do something to support them. During September, they had an event where you could be sponsored to walk 11,000 steps every day. I took part and was very pleased to have achieved the challenge, walking over 11,000 steps every day and raising 550 pounds. On the first day of my challenge, I stopped to take a photograph of a butterfly resting on a fence, and at that point thought it would be a good idea to combine my photography with the walking, capturing a 
photo during my walks every day. I decided that this would be a great topic for my next zine, a zine that features photo taken every day in September accompanied by a total number of steps I reached that day. It is now complete and attached for you to check out. Keith, this is really nicely done. I think this is for an awesome cause and I want to alert everybody that actually he is going to be selling this and I'll put his website in the show description below this video. It's continuousfocus.co.uk. All proceeds will go to Prostate Cancer UK. It is really cool to put your talents towards a cause that is something that you believe in. That's something that more people should do. So anyway, I will link that up below. Check it out. We have one more today and this is a book that comes to us from... Jeff McDonald from Wisconsin, who writes, Dear Ted, enclosed is a copy of my zine entitled A Weekend in Chicago. Thank you for inspiring me to make it. A bunch of photographs from my recent weekend trip were loitering around on a hard drive. Your zine challenge provided the impetus to get them organized on paper and in a format that tells a story. I serve on the board of our local arts group. The show in our gallery this month features the works of our board members ranging from photography to watercolors to pencil illustrations, acrylics, sculptures, clarinet, and trumpet lamps. Ten framed prints from the Weekend in Chicago project will be making their public debut there. Thank you for everything you do. It is appreciated. Sincerely, Jeff. Some really nice work, Jeff. Thank you so much for sharing. And I am happy to announce that we are starting to get very close to being caught up with all the mail that people have sent. I got some new mail the other day and some stuff that I will share in an upcoming video. So yeah, it feels good to be catching up. And stay tuned because I will um, talk a little bit more about the Ralph Gibson video that will be coming up that we filmed in Pennsylvania last week. And uh, anyway, so I'm super excited. A lot of stuff coming up. If you have any questions, leave them below. See you guys in the next video. Until then, later.